Hi, we are the Street Credibility Team, and welcome behind the scenes. For this movie, we started by mixing two concepts, an anthropomorphic world and a TV news report. Next, we decided to put a comic duo at the center of the story, based on two very different animal characters. The idea was to create funny interactions and situations. After several iterations, we finally settled on a story about a drug raid that takes place in the south of France. Our comic duo became two cops, four partners, inspired by Jackie Chan and Christopher in Rush Hour, or Laurel and Hardy, or the French humorists Les Inconnus. Beginning with the first concepts, we worked on the shape of our characters to show their personalities and to make them easy to recognize. Michel, the pig, is a type A personality. Always running around, kicking down doors, is like a ball of energy. Regis, his partner, is a tall and slouching sheep. He's more sensitive, slower, and kind of blasé. The crocodile, Zizinho, is an athletic and strong character, but also cool and relaxed. The cameraman is like the fourth character of our film. So we needed to create the feeling of his presence behind the camera, even if he remains in scene. To achieve this effect, the camera animation had to look very realistic. So we used a Maya plugin called VR plugin. Then we attached an HTC Vive headset onto a shoulder rig. And there we were, framing and making our shots behave just as we desired inside the Maya viewport. This method was much easier and flexible than animating the camera by hand or using tracking. The sheep and crocodile have a common defining feature. They both have a big snout. So in order to optimize their on-screen appearance and to keep their silhouettes, we try to avoid animating them directly from the front. Regis, the sheep, has slumping shoulders to emphasize his passivity. This also lowers his line of vision for when he's exchanging looks with his partner who is much shorter. Our film has many dialogues. A few of the dialogues were written upstream to get the general intentions. The rest were improvised during the previews to ensure a sense of realism and spontaneity. The acting went really well. It gave the scenes a fun of the wall quality. So we decided to integrate our improvisation into the final version. I guess you do your best work when you're having fun. <laughs> The comedy in this film stems in part from the characters' expressions. Having three very different characters was a big challenge. Each one required us to find the right kind of deformation to enable the character to speak and express himself without losing his basic shape. Alex also developed an auto rig, allowing us to rig the bodies of the characters by ourselves. One of the themes in the film is the contrast between what's real and what's artificial. The transition shot between the corridor and the apartment is one example of this. The lighting had to change from one environment to the next. Artificial light in the hallway to match the cop's belief about the fake sugar, and natural light in the apartment when they realize it's not sugar at all. For the hair of our characters, we use X-Gen interactive grooming. At first, the hair were only for the crocodile and the sheep. But when working on the look depth of the pig, we realized that adding a thin layer of fur will give more consistency to our characters and enhance the overall look of the film. It was also important to maintain the lively ambience during the street scene. So I added some details to the street, being careful about the distance between the camera and the building in order to optimize this. It was a big and exciting project. We hope you enjoy street credibility as much as we enjoy making it. Thanks for watching and stay out of trouble.